So I was thinking about um, therapy. Um, you know, I tend to in the situ in the situation I'm in, I tend to think about um, my drugs the most, um, how my, how my drugs are affecting me, and especially since I'm trying a, a new drug, I'm trying Abilify. But I, um, I'm also trying to focus on other things that will make things better. So I was thinking about trying to do things that will make me feel better, um, make my life better. Um, so I kind of made a list, like uh, exercise, exercising, writing, um, doing these videos helps. Um, reading the scriptures and prayer. prayer. Prayer is very therapeutic for me. I mean, I don't just do it so that I'll feel better. I mean, I pray that I will do the Lord's will and that I will be a good person and stuff like that. But without prayer, I would, would be nothing. But I thought about trying drawing, and I hate that. <laughs> I got online, went on YouTube, you know, you can learn you can learn how to draw anything and I'm like, this is so boring. And then when I'm done drawing something, it's like it's just not satisfying. So I thought, well what what is satisfying? What is therapeutic to me? Something that is not something that is and ends in itself, you know. I don't know the word, but I thought writing is really therapeutic for me. Uh, writing, you know, poetry or writing in my journal, writing my thoughts, writing about what's going on um, with my with my life. So writing is a big thing. I, I really need to do more writing and blogging, and I really need to do more poetry because I feel that that's something that I like to do. And um, exercise is a big is a big one. And um, so I think what you need to do if you are suffering from a mental illness, if you're well enough, sit down and write a list of things that are therapeutic for you. Things that when you do them, for one thing, they make you feel better while you're doing them. Oh, oh I forgot. Um, I know a lot of people would would say video games would be therapeutic, and I think they are. But I can't play video games because I'm. If I do play them, I get addicted to them, and I play too much. So, no video, no video games for me. But go Guitar Hero. So, um, but you know, find out what you like to do, and you might be surprised at what's therapeutic. It might be something very simple, um, cooking. You know, it could be cooking, it could be um, just going out in nature, but something, I think there is something very therapeutic for everybody. There's just that one thing, you know, it could be talking to somebody, you know, it could be, it could be reading, whatever, but if you're, if you're, if you can't focus on therapeutic things right now because you're so depressed and you're so down and don't worry about it but when you do get well enough really think about it and really kind of commit to doing it try to do it every day um, so that by the, the end of the day you're not just looking back and thinking I didn't do anything today what a waste of a day but, um, those are my thoughts and for therapy I will continue to write and to do videos occasionally. I, t I tend to do videos in spurts, you know. I'll do like a video almost every day for two weeks and then I'll stop for a month or two months or whatever and then come on again. But anyway, all right.